Hey everybody, it's PC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And I have been doing a little bit of work since the last episode. Uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit more work here. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, it was actually suggested by somebody that I make a mover tool, but uh, work on this. Perfect time for an auto save. Uh, yes, I did miss the morning rain. Yeah, it is morning. Uh, yeah, so what I've done is, let me get out of here first, is I've actually gone through the block catalog and I've unlocked everything. And this is basically everything I have. So, yes, no hover pads, no air blades. So, yeah, they're going to make me work for the, the fun stuff. But this is what we have at our disposal, so it's not too bad. I'm sure things will get unlocked a little more once we go ahead and make doo -doo -doo, uh, the printer. But we need to find titanium for that. Uh, another thing I have done is I've done a little bit of mining. I picked up some biomass, iron, carbon, silver, or silicon. I need a lot of silicon. I want to make a lot of glass. And as you can see, I've got some more in there. I think I had more, did I not? No, just that. Inventory is still an issue, but eh, we manage. All right, uh, so what I want to do is first we're going to go in here and we're going to make that mover tool because I want to try something here. Uh, probably be cheaper in here. It actually doesn't matter. Okay. Alright, so we need... How many do we need? Four of them. I probably should have just made them in there. In fact, I will. I got carbon on me. Actually, there should be carbon in here. There is now. Alright, so let's go ahead and make... Four of those. Okay, what else do I need? I need circuits. Circuits, mechanical parts, and... Well, what do you know? Mark 1 composites. Awesome. Alright, let's uh, get some, clear some stuff out. Oh, I need more storage. Yeah, I went over to the the wreck and I was bad. I uh, took apart half of it. I apologize. I wanted to get some supplies and I didn't really want to have to go through the effort of grinding out all the resources and all that stuff. Alright, so we're just waiting on this. It's going to take three minutes. And... What we're going to do today is we're going to build a new new house. I'm going to sort of go open concept with it. Uh, everything is going to be all covered up. And what else do we have here? Yeah, I've got everything. Uh, I went and got a whole bunch of biomass too because I know we have to need the biomass to make the Mark 1 composites. Which we need for batteries. So that's why I did that. Cut down a couple of trees and whatnot. Oh, no, 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 no. Cancel. That's what I want to do. Alright. Oh, and it's dark. Fine. We'll speed that up. I was up all night anyways. Oh, look. It's raining again. Yeah, it's raining again. But yeah, as far as exploring goes, I have no idea which way I'm going to head. Um, I know usually that you'll get these distress beacons showing up, so... You know, I'll have to go check those out when the time comes. Alright, and I gotta make some more batteries. That's why I went and picked up a whole bunch of silicon. Silicon, silicone. Well, it's not silicone because there's no E. Uh, let's see here. Control. Wrong button. Sure. I'll make 10 for now. Okay, now. Uh, let's actually utilize my hot bars here. I thought it was, I thought it was shifting, but it is, okay. So, on this one, I'm going to have my multi-tool, I have a scan, no, not the scanner, and the mover. So then what I want to do is I actually want to have one for building, and the usual stuff, actually, that'll be the building bar here. So let's put the mover on this side here. And this will be our exploration bar. We'll have that. Uh, we'll have water on there. Probably won't have the nutrition capsules. Actually, that's what I should do right now. Just probably get some food going. Uh, what do I have in here? Not much. We got something. I'll have to get some food going. Uh, let's actually check to see if I have greenhouse yet. I'm probably not even seeing it. There it is. I think we're going to have to start building one of those. Uh, let's go to the hot bar one. 
I know I have been trying to use those things ever since they came out. I also noticed too a bit of a typo. Oh. Now they changed it. Okay. Now when I was unlocking this to unlock this one, it said I had to build a uh, outer window with the stripe dash Kickstarter. And this was actually labeled that, and then I guess once I reloaded it, it changed. Okay, so I was building batteries. Alright, let's uh, head out here. I'm sure I was doing something else, but I got sidetracked. Now, what I have done is basically I had stairs leading down to where I have the, the pod, and the pod is going to stay here. And originally, I filled it in with small blocks because it, was, it wasn't quite on center, but now that we have the mover tool, uh, that's what I was doing, I was making a greenhouse. And of course I took a, took the mover tool off. Nah, that's not what I wanted to do. Bear with me, this is what happens if I don't record for a week. Alright. No. Batteries help. Really? Uh, Alright. Donald, we tried. Anyway. Uh, so that's... Kind of a damper on that. Oh well. I actually wanted to have that in the center, but I have it set up so you hop in and you get out and you're automatically on the platform. I had to fill in it a little bit. It was getting into little gaps. I may dig the ground out here. But yeah, it's gonna be basically open concept. The whole living area is gonna be out here. So let's go ahead and get some stuff on the bar. Some blocks on the Barbie. Okay, need that. Um I was thinking about what I was going to do for the walls. I'm probably going to stick with the, the regular walls. And then I'm going to probably have a skylight on it. Well, of course I'm going to have a skylight on it. So we got the corners, we got the walls, we have the windows. Do I want to put some junctions in? I have no idea. But anyways, start building. Oh, I need parts. Now let me grab some parts and we'll start building. Okay. So... We're going to start with getting some railings going around. Uh, as far as the color goes, I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I might keep it like this for now. I was trying to think about utilizing a brown, possibly. Let's actually see how that looks. I'm going hardwood. Uh, a little tip for you, too. If you ever do want to recolor your floor, instead of actually using your mark mark one or mark two or mark three tool use your emergency tool because you are using even though you're not building anything you're changing the color you might as well be using your, your emergency tool because it's going to take the same amount of time to do it regardless this way it saves on batteries and biomass and silicon except for the rain that looks much better all right so yeah it's going to be the same this is what it's going to be it's going to be we can put some railings around here uh, we might put some features in here down the road we'll see how things go but it's going to be railing, railings around the inside here. And then originally I was thinking about having the wall going right to the edge. But I'm thinking about now, this is it's a fair amount of space. So we're actually going to put the wall right here. Let's make sure I didn't take anything apart. So we're going to go with the corner wall. Now what color do I want to put down now? How does that actually look? Terrible. Hmm. White. Orange? No. Kinda works. You can always repaint the place afterwards. Now where did it go again? Uh hmm. Put a window down. Because I know the window will go right on the center, so I think it goes there. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I built. Okay, so it does go there. Alright, uh, I'm actually not liking that color. No. I'll go white. Get that big contrast. And I uh, will probably put doors on all four corner sections here. Although it's not going to line up. Unless I double it up, go two doors. Which you can always do. We have the technology. In fact, probably do that. One there and one there. Run over here. 
you know, doors aren't that big of a deal because they only use power when they're being opened. And this way, if I want to cut a corner or two, at least I, I can get in and out real quick. Not that it matters. Maybe I can do uh, some tinkering one day and see if I can change that mover tool. See if I can convert that mover tool to a teleporter tool. Right? Put enough batteries in the thing, who knows what's going to happen. Alright, and yeah, just like that. Oh, there's going to be another. Oh, that's going to be the window. So now we finish up with the rest of the windows in the corners. Okay, so there's uh, the main outer structure. Now, what I've been thinking about doing is trying to get like a skylight sort of deal going on here. I don't know if it's actually going to work with these blocks. Like, I don't know how this is going to actually line up. Let's actually see how it looks on the outside. Here, I was going to walk and I forgot I had a jetpack. Hmm. Aha. I remember there was a hover mode. Hmm. I like to keep it like that, just go straight across. Uh, hmm. Could be an issue. Well, not an issue, but. I mean, I have to fill it up with the blocks and all that fun stuff. But what I could do. Take that out. And then we will go back to. Number four, and see if we can get number four to play. Uh, yes, control. Haha. Learn to fly and plant nomads all over again. Now, why aren't you snapping? No, nope, helps if I push the right button to go backwards. There we go. So, if I guess one there. And uh, yeah, there won't be one there. Okay, so I gotta come back a little bit. All right, so that is gonna be how it is. Oh, that's the wrong one, and like so. Then I'm gonna carry it across and try to fill in the corners somehow, and I'll bring you back when I have that figured out. That's actually easier for that way. Okay, here's what I got so far. I was able to work out the corners a little bit. Uh, kind of looks a little bumpy on the outside, but on the inside, but the outside it looks okay. So that's good. So now I want to try to get some sort of glass ceiling on here. I have no idea how this is going to play out, but we will find out. Go back to bar, bar one. Yeah, I took those windows off for some reason. All right, let's uh, see what we can do here. I know these are off size, so they may not line up properly. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, what I did last time I'd use these, I actually went sort of like a rotating pattern like this, and I had a block in the middle. So I may or may not do the same thing. We'll see how it goes. Doing it that way, too, I can actually attach lights to the blocks here. So it kind of works out. And it got dark awfully quick. So yeah, let's see how this actually works out. So if I have one this way and then one this way, uh, I do realize I will have to get some more silicon. And I'm out of frames. But let's see here. So that would have been there. And the next one would have been here. And then, yeah. We're going to have to split it in the center. Somehow. Hmm. You know what I might do? I might do this. Alright, so here's what I come up with. And I think this is about all the glass I'm going to use because I'm just about out of silicon. Surprise, surprise. Uh, so, I was thinking about these corners here, I was going to put another window in, but there's going to be a, a line that I'll have to fill with blocks on all four corners. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it in. 
And I'm just gonna get my axis right. There we go. Oh, you changed on me, you bugger. Like so. Oh, well. Oh, it's a seven by seven opening. Hmm. Well, that in, in that case, we're gonna use these. That's actually the wrong one. I do not want the one with the the conveyor. No, they still gonna create an uneven texture, so maybe we should just go with blocks. This could be forty nine. Doable though. Maybe I'll do that. And then for the rest of the opening here, it's probably gonna end up being ceiling tiles, and I think that might just be for the best. Until I can get more resources. Uh, once I get a good supply of silicon where I can actually make a whole bunch of glass, and yeah, we can definitely place everything. So this will that'll be handy. Uh, yeah, this takes a while. And so does this. So I shall return. Okay, here's what I got for now. So what I did, like I said, I did the seven by seven small armor blocks. I did that one, an armor block trim going around and filled it in with ceiling tiles, and that seemed to have worked. Uh, lighting is going to be an issue. I do realize that. I'm thinking, I might even try to go with five lights here. So let us pull out. Where is it? Where is it? Gonna be up here. There it is. Got the big light. Get out of there. And I'm hoping I have enough supplies. I actually ran out of glass. Oh, it was weird. It wasn't let me place it there. But I don't think that's gonna be needed. I think if I go in the corners here, like so. And one more. Like that. And we'll do one right above the pod. Get my step ladder out, and let's see here. One, two, three. So that one. It is array. Ah, oh, composites. I should have those somewhere. Somewhere. If I had to make them all into batteries, that is. Let's crouch in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I had to go to the neighbors and borrow a few more supplies. Uh, again, if anyone's upset about that I'm sorry but I'm doing what I gotta do building for me has never been easy in this game okay what do I need I need, need three more of those take those out and we'll go ahead and make make another ten if we can oh I'm out of iron what do you know yeah supplies are uh, running a little scarce here I don't know what I got left in the buggy if I have anything at all and just biomass. Alright, we're definitely gonna have to get some sort of adventuring going on just to get supplies and whatnot. But let's go and finish our house first. Our modest little shack, if you call it that. Almost looked like it was lit up there for a second. Okay, and color, I'm gonna keep the color all the same just because. I don't need any mood lighting, not in this space anyways. My battery's dead. Okay, switchboards. Oh uh, yes, more switchboards. Right, right there, we'll pick those. And yeah, uh, hmm. I wanna make sure that they all reach too. But I also want to keep things symmetrical. So even though it's wasteful, I'm going to put four of them on. Four, not six. What am I missing? Oh, electronic parts. No big deal. We still got to get the GNE set up. So let's go in here. Uh, how much power does this thing put out? Because I know once we get to the bigger printer, we're going to need more power. 500. What is it running right now? Well, I guess uh, this can be turned off. Oh, okay. So machines do use power when they're not turned on. So if I turn that off. 
Is this thing really used 200 watts? What is using so much? No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, really? Stasis chamber is the big money, big power eater. Wow. So I guess I'm gonna have to get two of them set up then. That will leave that for now. Okay. Uh, now to basically figure out where everything's gonna go. I got all these set up as soon as I get circuits. If I have circuits, something tells me I'm gonna be dismantling this place just to finish my new house with the bare minimum. No pool table and bar yet. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was looking for circuits. One there. Nothing in there. And nothing in there. How much silicon do I have? Nine. Alright, I'll turn it back on and can I make ten of these? Oh god, they're expensive. Huh, I guess I'm gonna have to go hunt down some more silicon then. Um uh, what do we need for the generators? I'm gonna have to make two of these, I think. Nope. Oh, they have a favorites. No, I really did. I just didn't realize it. I think one generator might should be okay. Uh, for that, that, if I actually have the resources for it, we'll just have to switch things on and off for now until, until we can get some more supplies going. Iron and carbon's easy, easy to get. Silicon is too, but not as easy. Hmm. Where is the front of the house going to be? That is the question. I think I'll just stick this in the back corner here. And I also want to have it situated so when I set, get a second one set up, that I can just place it right here. Of course I need electron, <laughs> electronic parts. Uh, I don't want to take apart the buggy. Uh, let me go hunt down some silicone and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I went around and grabbed a few more boulders. Got, I think, about another 60 or so silicon. So, that'll get us started for now. I made some circuits. I got some more being printed. So, let's go ahead and finish the Jenny. Uh, just because it's power related, we'll make it red. Just because. Uh, switchboard's gonna be white. I don't know if I have enough on me. How many do I need? I got I need two more. Because we're going to have to get a switchboard over the generator, too. And then we got to start getting everything else put in, like putting the station chamber back in, and the food and drink machine. Okay. Uh, what is in here right now? Too much for my inventory. And, uh... Let me think here. Yeah, we should be good. So I'll head back in. We'll get this fired up. Do I have any biomass on me? No, I don't. That could be solved by taking that. Okay. That's the wrong door. Wrong door and wrong building. Alright. Let's run over here. Let's get some power going. Uh, switchboard. Do you make you red just because you're going on here. And no, we're not going to do that. I'm going to put this right on top. In the center, take that one out and fill that one in. Okay, let's get that out. And oh, I know what I'm doing. I swear. All right, and I don't know why I tried to aim right for the the box there. Is that gonna reach? Yes. Okay. Okay. And then from here we go to the light. To the light. And then I gotta finish the switchboards. So let me finish this up. Like so. And let there be light. Let's see. Honestly, I could use more. Looks like we're gonna go a 9x9. We can't adjust these, can we? Mm. No. Just color. Alright, well, I guess we'll put more on then. Uh, back to five. Uh, it's a good thing I do actually have enough resources to finish this up. 
power situation, that's going to be another story, but we'll figure that out as the time comes. And one there, and one more around the corner. Uh, fortunately, I do have more things being produced and whatnot, so... Except Mark 1 composites. That's fine. Because we can start putting other stuff in while that's being printed. And I will need... Yeah, just in case. Take another stack of biomass. And go into here. Dump that off in there. If I can, apparently I can't. And mark one composites. Oh, carbon, thank God. At least that's pretty cheap. Alright, that should do for now. And up we go. And yes, I do plan on filling all the outside in and the inside out. Oh, jeez, I gotta hook up the doors too. Oh, this will be fun. I have no idea if the switchboards will even reach. But we will find out in a minute. Well, need more of those. Uh, let's actually go grab that. And we'll wire up the doors. Actually, I'll do that off camera. Okay, and there we are. All the doors are closed. Now, this area lights up really nice. It's not too bad here. I may... Because I was thinking about this one little block here. And I was thinking about actually putting a solar beacon on it and see how that looks. And we'll get through this. Uh, yeah, and keep navigation off so we don't actually have to see the beacon on our HUD. That works. I like using these as like little lights. Come in handy. They're cheap. They don't require any power, and you can have them in a dark room, and they still, for some reason, get solar power. Okay, so there is that. Uh, doors are all wired up and all working, and the whole nine yards. Let's go check the power drain right now. That's not bad, but we still have to move all the furniture in. Yeah, yeah, this might work. I may end up putting another big light here, but I know these lights you get too many of them going at once, and they become too much. All right, let's move the furniture. Now the question is, should I actually move it, or should I dismantle it? And I think the wise choice would be to move it. Oh, I have my mover tool already. Moving day. Let's uh, start with you. Definitely good for inventory management if you have to move a lot of the containers around. Now, let's put that down for now because it's killing battery. Hmm. Power's gonna be over there. I think my production is gonna be over here for now. Uh. Hmm. Place it down like so. Okay. Uh, I gotta see if I have any batteries. Cause I used them all up from my uh, my multi tool. Uh, I know these are inefficient for good storage space, but I like them. I like them so much. I built a four hundred what was it a four hundred ton AT walker out of the things. Uh, lag was terrible. Uh, Oh, we'll just put these over here for now. Because we're going to be having different lockers or storage for different areas. Let's do that for now. Try to conserve space. And back in we go. You know, theoretically, if you wanted to, you could actually move an entire base if you had enough batteries of this thing block by block. It'd take you for ages, but it would work. And place that one there. No, we will not. That's also handy too, is you can use it to rotate, but it won't let you place it back in the same spot you're picking it up from for some reason. Okay, now for the bed. Uh, what I do have to do. Uh, where is. Okay, that's the only one that I have. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect. 
and then we're going to turn build vision off and that's just so the stasis chamber doesn't pick up power from somewhere else not that there's going to be somewhere else to pick power up from uh, put the bed over here like so more stasis chamber you sleep in it it's called a bed to me okay oh Oh, I made it, okay. Now the refinery. Or, uh, compact armory. And I think... What I want to do is I want to keep everything power related over there. I want to keep production over here. Things like the armory is... Be over here. And I ran out of power, battery power. <laughs> if you get different tool tiers of this, this mover tool, that'd be awesome. Oh, and I have no way of making batteries. Well, I do. I just gotta go over here and do it now. So, uh, let me do that, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I got the batteries. Okay, now we'll go in here, and we'll, like I said, we'll grab the armory. We'll put that in the back corner here. And... Actually, what's gonna be that back corner? No, we're gonna put it over here. Reason being is that corner over there is where the greenhouses are going to be. Now the greenhouses over there, I might have the food and drink machine by the bed, which might actually be a good idea. Nothing like having a bedside mini fridge, right, for those midnight snacks. Okay, I'm going here and place place you there for now. And what is left? But the only thing that's left is moving the other generator. There's nothing in there. I'll clean that out. Now we get some parts back at least. Oh, look at all the biomass in there too. Really? Okay. Oh, that's why that couldn't be moved. The skate pod, on the other hand, is a. Uh, different story altogether because I don't have anything actually touching that so if I go like so and if I put a container at the end then they'll automatically fill up and we will do that well they won't fill up but there will uh, be fuel on demand basically they'll take it when they need it in fact let's make that green it's a little green box uh, I already had biofuel but yeah, that's actually what I'll do. I'm gonna take this out and take that out, and then just do it this way. So in that way, they'll pull whenever they wanna want the fuel. I'm just doing it for the sake of it. There's no no rhyme or reason behind it. Okay, now let's uh, get some greenhouses. I hope I have enough for these things. We're gonna find out. Hmm. No, not black greenhouse. Sure. We'll make these ones the the gray color. Alright, and I will these don't actually have conveyors on them, so I'm gonna make two of them. One there and one there. Electronic parts, of course. Well fortunately I have the machine that Supposed to be making them over here. Yeah, that is a bit of a dark spot. They all are turned on. But you know, we could always do this too. And I have thought about it. Uh, of course, as soon as I get the parts for it. I do not have any parts. Oh my god. Alright, let's make... No. No, 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 no. Not yet, anyways. We'll get that mass production going sooner or later. I just want to see how it looks. Yeah, that does help. So let me get those in and I'll return. Okay, so yeah, the lighting helps out a little, little bit more. Like I said, it gets those dark spots out. It is pretty dark outside, so that doesn't help much. But I do have enough to finish these off. 
Oh, and I made them the wrong color because I was working on the lights. Alright, so these need power. Alright, so you need dirty water, you need seeds for that. I can make seeds. Do I have seeds? I think I tossed them all. Well, let's find out. If not, I'll go, and go take apart a bush or two. And it's empty, and that's empty. Okay, let's go brave the rain. Actually. Oh, look at that. Nice view of this, the, the stars while I sleep. And, okay. Let's get out. It's going to rain, but I don't care. Now, which way should I go? i got to watch out there. are fireflies and the, the poison spitters that I haven't dealt with yet. I could scan them, but I don't have my scanner on me. But what am I going to do? I'm actually going to take this one down. Ah, I was the wrong button. Yes, I have done that a few times. Not first time playing again after a while, and what do I go do? I use the right mouse button to, to harvest a tree. Let's see, right there. So i got to watch out for him, them, those. Let's see. We should be going okay to get to this one. I think this one was relatively safe. You didn't give me any seeds. Why didn't you give me any seeds? Oh, that's wrong plan. Run away. At least they don't move very fast. Do we get seeds just from gathering? I honestly can't remember. Is that a new plant or... Oh, okay, I see what it is. Oh, okay, we get seeds that way. Good. Actually, I need the herbs too. I might start making the super fruit. Uh, super food. Am I not? Superfood yet, but the nutrition capsules. Let's see what else we have around here. I haven't destroyed anything, so it should all still be here. Well, correction, I've destroyed one. There's another one over here. And there is one of those things. But fortunately, these guys have terrible aim. They can't move, hit a moving target. It's fun. Whoa. Auto save. Fruitage. Why is my inventory full? Why is my inventory full? Oh. Since I'm gathering food to make food, I'm gonna grab the superfood. Or eat the superfood. Do you have any others I can grab? Well, let's see, I've got two seeds. That should be good. We don't need much, we just need something to start with. And I think it was... I can't remember if we can actually make biomass. No, I think that was something the large greenhouse can do. Which, I don't have. We'll have to go and explore to find it. Okay, let's... Uh, oh yeah, water's in the food and drink machine. And I have no inventory space, <laughs> of course. Okay, well, one of these is going to be making seeds, actually. No, I want to move half the stack. I said half the stack. There we go. And then you can get the other one. I'll go over here and grab my water before it disappears. Not that I will, I know I won't. Okay, and... So, you are going to take half of this. I thought they had a half button. Alright, so I want to make seeds. I need clean water for seeds. Ooh. That'll be easy to make. Clean water's over here, and I should have carbon in here as soon as I get power. 
And turn it back on. Are we overloaded already? No way. Uh, I guess so. Uh, how much of those things you actually use? Only 50. It's all the lights. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's... Now that's already off. Oh, there we go. I knew we were going to have power issues. Alright, well, I'll have to work out that later. Oh, I do have clean water. Don't have inventory space, but now I do. And I'll go ahead and make a few of those. Run back over here, or fly back. Alright, you are making seeds, so you need clean water. Take 30 out of there. And... Biomass. Run out to the rover, grab just of it. And I think we are just about done. I do want to do more things. I uh, do want to put some sort of... That's not what I want to do. Put some sort of garage on here. Uh, something I could drive in that actually connects to the base but has a, an automatic opening door. You know, now that we have small, tiny motors, things like that, it can be so much easier. Okay. So, uh, what do you need for... Uh, you both need biomass. All the more reason to deforest, huh? Okay. So you are making seeds. Can't make many seeds right now. And it's fine. It says it doesn't have enough. Oh yeah, it takes eight minutes. Okay, that's fine. It says it doesn't have enough, but it's actually producing the seeds that it's going to be using. So we are going to be good. But, I need more seeds for here, too. Which is fine, there's your biomass, there's your dirty water, and... I think we're going to have to get a third greenhouse. But, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's much else we can actually place in here right now. It's going to be somewhat barren. I uh, can go ahead and get some more storage around here, like get one over here, it'd be a fridge where we can put all our food, a seed and storage area here, and then over here we can have whatever extra biomass collection. Uh, definitely next episode we're going to have to do some exploring, uh, see if we can find a few more fun things to play with, new things to try, and maybe even my famous hover pads. Oh, not my famous hover pads, but, you know, my favorite toy. Ah, good enough. Alright, what color should this be? Oh, fridges should be white. Uh, greenhouse, well, that's going to be a shed, so I'll make that brown. Uh, well, this is power related, so I'll make it red, and I'll to make that red too. These will be utility closets, so I guess I'll just make them black for now. Can have tools, and odds and ends and stuff like that in there and I think that's it we do have some power issues we have to deal with but that is expected uh, only thing left to do really I guess is uh, take apart the old place and get our stuff back which shouldn't take too long but anyways I think this is going to be a good place to call it I thank you all so much for watching uh, again I apologize for the delays it's just been uh, needless to say the big days coming up a big foral and you know this time of year has always been terrible for me like nothing ever goes right and it's just one thing after another and seems to be every year it gets worse and worse let's hope that this year is the last year Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Later.